Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Good morning. I am headed to the hardware store. So I'm gonna head over to Menards. Um, I'm not buying a staple gun. My husband brought the manual staple gun in because, you know, he doesn't want me to buy another staple gun, an electric one. But I only have so many staples left and I have a lot of upholstery projects to do. So I'm heading to Menards to get staple, the right staples. Cause I have staples for the other staple gun that don't fit the other, this manual staple. Anyway. And no lie, I might buy a new staple gun. <laughs> he could try and stop me, but <laughs> like, it's a lot of stapling. It's a lot of stapling. I do have the pneumatic stapler. I could go out to the shop and just do that. I should do that. The Hashimoto's isn't so bad today. My arm is burning, like burning, but my whole body doesn't feel like it wants to try and kill me. So I can get some stuff done today. We're gonna. Or in a post or something and then I have some repairs to make because the footstool we've talked about this on this channel before and so it can't be somebody who watches me because you cannot put glue around the outside of a joint and think it's gonna stay put okay you either need tight chair to get in in the joint or you need to bang it apart and glue it back together. Well, that person who doesn't watch my channel is not as smart as you. And I had, it was wobbly. And there was this glue around the outside and I was like, really? So I flaked the glue off before I painted it and I pulled it apart because I'm gonna have to glue and clamp it. So I am gonna actually pick up some more wood glue while I'm there too, because as you saw the last time I tried to use my wood glue, I swear y'all, like, I was giving it my all and it wouldn't come out. So I had to dig some out and put it around the joints. I don't want to talk about it. I went in for two things. You heard me. Two things. More than two things in that bag. Because then I remembered, oh, I'm out of lock. I'm not out of washers. Because, you know, the new drawer pulls old drawers are thinner than new drawers so the new drawer pulls are just one washer away from being the right size like you can't tighten it enough and that annoys me <laughs> I'm not cutting the, I'm not cutting the screw down I'm not gonna go buy new screws I just need a washer well, I ran off washers on the last drawer that I did so I did the drawers for the blue desk and I ran out of washers. That was the last washers I had, so I had to buy washers. Well, then I I got there and they had the the 175 washer pack, which is what I picked up. But then they also had the assortment of washers, which I thought, you know, that's not a good idea to have that because sometimes you know the screws are thicker. Whatever. So I I got the washer assortment, and then when I was there, I was like, oh, you know what? I'm out of primer, spray primer. So I was doing a wicker plant stand yesterday and what I thought was, really wish I had some primer to block the stain. Cause I'm pretty sure even with the Rust-Oleum 2X that the stain from this wicker is gonna bleed through. Cause I was doing it white. So I got some primer. And as long as I'm over in the paint section, I might as well check out the Oops paints. And they had a really pretty gray, which, gray, it's a neutral. So for $2.50, you gotta pick up a quart of gray when you see it. I mean, it's $2.50. <sighs> Menards, 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 Menards. I did get the big thing of wood glue though, and I checked it. So I tipped it and the, the glue slid it right away to the top. I was like, yeah, because like two other ones that I did, 
the smaller size ones, like the medium size uh, wood glue, did not. And I'm like, I ain't buying those again. That's not, that's not happening to me again. I am checking my wood glue before I buy. Look what I just realized I missed from the garage sale haul. Yeah, turquoise fridge keeper. But anyway, I'm gonna get in and get to work. I have some calls to make this morning first and then I'm gonna get to work. What's happening? Slowly, I've got some shipments to get out to. Ray, your shipment's coming. It's going out today. I will take it when I go pick up Victoria to the post office. So it is getting in the mail today and I have a giant Vanderbilt University platter, mid-century platter. Oh my gosh, you guys. If this breaks, I'm gonna vomit. It's almost $200. Oh, I gotta make sure that this is just, I have some memory foam in my garage. I may take that out and pack the box with memory foam. 14 phone calls later, I finally made it into the she shop. Um, I got this pillow form like forever ago. And I was like, I don't really like round pillows, but you know what? It fits this chair, this hot pink one that I sprayed. <laughs> like a glove. I knew, see, I buy those. I buy any kind of foam when I see it because I'm gonna need it. At some point, I'm gonna need it. And I get that my husband's like, why are you hoarding foam? But look at this. That's why 50 cents for a two inch chair pad. Mm -hmm. And I don't have to cut a circle. <laughs> And I've done my boxes, so now when I go pick Victoria up, I can drop those off at the post office. Shipments are going out. Um, now I'm going to do some upholstery, but I don't want to do it in here. I'm going to do it where I can watch TV while I do it. I'm done with this BS. I'm in my husband's shop, and as you can probably hear behind me, I've got the air compressor going. And we're going to get this stupid air compressor staple gun working because this that handheld stapler is not penetrating that port at all that's why i don't i wanted my electric one these uh, so it's almost done filling that 60 gallon tank and then we'll hit it with the staple gun finally peace and quiet we are going to uh hook up i've never used my sure bonder before as you can tell it's still in its packaging. This I got for Christmas. I was very excited to use it and then never did. So let's see. Let's see how intuitive it is because I'm not going to read the directions. <laughs> okay, that unlocks the staples, staples, staples. Where are you? There you are. Lucky for me, my electric stapler and this one take the same staples. So I had plenty, plenty of staples for it. Well, is it like that? Or do we put it in here? Looks like that's the way we have a winner. Okay. And since my husband wants to borrow this stapler, I think it's only fair that I get to borrow his air compressor. Ow, come on. I have the worst time with these things. Done. My life just got infinitely easier. I am so excited. Uh, that's done. Took minutes. And uh, I didn't bring all of them out here. I was kind of hoping that I didn't have to. But uh, <laughs> I didn't do it. 
I'm gonna shut his compressor off for now. Go in, trim the fabric off this one. Go deal with whatever. Oh my God. Uh, I am so excited. I kind of love my sure bonder. The only thing I don't love was turning on his compressor. That's no fun at all. I'm gonna shut it off, see if it's any more fun. Freaking birds turned my car into a potty party. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more junkin' videos.